Right, good morning, year six. Welcome to Becky Keys. I am Mr. Shields. I'm one of the assistant head teachers here. I'm in charge of pastoral uh, welfare, and I'm glad to see you this morning. Obviously not in person. We're really sorry you can't be here, but we thought this would be the next best thing to get you used to Becky Keys and get you ready to join here in September. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Peathers now, who is head of year seven and eight. He's going to give you a bit more of a rundown about what we're going to do today. Thank you, Mr. Shield. Um, welcome to Becky Keys. Um, as Mr. Shield says, I'm Mr. Peathers, head of year seven and year eight. So on your first day in September, uh, you'll be seeing a lot of me. Um, what we're going to do today is, as Mr. Shield says, give you the, the next best thing to a, a tour around the school. We're going to take you through all the buildings. Um, show you some of the key places that you're going to need to know um, and yeah, give you a bit of a feel of what it's like to be a baby. Believe is the reason why I believe that I'll live forever I believe that my king will come Welcome, um, the first stop is the school playground um, somewhere where you'll spend a lot of time before school um, with your friends, school starts 8.30, all lessons start 8.30 in the morning um, you'll also spend time at break time and lunch time on, on the playground and some of your sports lessons will take place here too. Um, it's also a great place to see all of the school buildings. We've got the Williams building here, we've got the Carey building over there, and the Runty building here, and the building that we walked past um, on the way, which is the Justin Welby building. You may also be able to see from here the pavilion, which in the summer um, is a great area for, for students to congregate. And this member of staff just joining us here is Mr. Thorpe. He's the assistant Senko and we'll have a lot of input during this video. Um, he's here for all the student needs and will answer a lot of your questions and be here right through the transition period. Bye guys. Praise that Jesus, you are my best friend and you will always be and nothing will ever change. Uh, well, this is the main entrance to the school. This is where visitors will arrive to, the parents will come in, uh, this isn't your usual entrance into the school, you don't tend to use this very often, but there are some key, key areas in there where you definitely need to know about. So let's go in and have a look. So here we have Ms. Uh, Mrs. Scott Evans' office and also the leadership office where a lot of our senior teachers are based. And over here we have reception, where you'll have, uh, not there now, but Mrs Tate will be sitting there, who is our receptionist. You'll come here for uh, various different reasons, to drop off uh, notes, or to drop off uh, slips for trips or events, as well as that you'll come here for medical as well. So if you're not feeling very well during the day, you'll come down here to uh, just say that you need some uh, medical treatment. And I'll take you through to where that is in a minute. You can also hire some equipment here at lunchtime, so table tennis, bats, basketballs, you can hire here to use on the playground as well. But what we'll do now is now we've finished, we'll head through to um, the medical part of the uh, school. I got no exactly what I need. So um, here we are in the uh, other side of the Kerry building. We're in the by the downward stairs of coming out from the top floors and, and we're by the girls' toilets. We're going to head out to the restaurant in a minute. I uh, just wanted to point out the medical room to you where you would come if you're not feeling well. So you come from reception to medical where you'll get treated here. We're going to head out to the restaurant now. Welcome to the Bistro, uh, the favourite place um, of many of our students here. Um, this is open to all students. It opens before school for breakfast, at break time for snack and also at lunch time. Our menus are updated regularly um, and always on display both in the Bistro and in the newsletter. Um, there are also themed days, so at certain times of the year um, we have special meals so we've had Chinese menus before, um, a Christmas meal at Christmas time, and many others. He cares when you see it, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, he cares. When you seek, he's there. 
there when you knock, 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 knock. God opens up the door when you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. Hello, uh, welcome to the Orangery. Um, this is where you will come to get your takeaway foods. So it's open at break time and lunch times. Um, I don't know if you noticed as well, but as you walked through from the cafe to the Orange Tree, you notice there's a lot of tables and a lot of chairs. There aren't actually any teacher tables or chairs, it's just everyone sits together, teachers and students alike. And next on our tour is the main hall. Welcome to the main hall. Now just before we go in, this is normally the part of the tour where um, parents and students have questions. Unfortunately we can't answer the questions for you now, but what we can do, what we have done since our email address, any questions at www.keys.org, and we invite you to send any questions that you or your children may have to us that we can get back to as soon as possible. So for example, we, we often get lots of questions about how do we pay for food, and um, that's one of the questions we can answer now. We get a um, we have a cashless catering system, so your parents load up your account, and you don't have to hand any money over until you just uh, pay by whatever. He's in all my dreams come alive. Life is for living with you. I've made my decision. Now we're in the main hall. Welcome. This will probably be the first room you come to on your first day here in September, uh, where you'll meet key members of staff and. The timetable will be introduced to you. Um, this is also where we meet as a year group for collective worship every week. Um, each year group comes in here on a different day and, and we worship together. The main hall is also used for um, some examinations, some sports lessons and also some drama work. In the Saviour I have found This is living now science labs we have got one two three four eight science labs in our science department with a fantastic team now as you can see I'm stood in one now so I'll take you a quick look around so as you can see here we've got the uh, periodic table these are in every room I've set up a little bit of the equipment that we're going to be using including our Bunsen burners you'll be doing lots of practical experiments in science and I can't wait to see you to do that uh, I'm going to hand up now a high five over to Mr. Shapland in food, who's going to give you a bit of a tour. Thank you, Mr. Shields. Uh, my name is Mr. Shapland. Welcome to the food room. This is where I'm going to teach you all how to cook uh, delicious nutritional food so it'll build up your repertoire of things you can cook for yourself at home so that you can make you and your family delicious meals. <laughs> So you've seen all science and food. What you're going to do now is you're going to head back into the Carey building where the boys' toilets are on the left-hand side. You get up the stairs towards the library where Mr. Thorpe's going to meet you in a minute. Okay, so this is the first floor of Carey. And this is where you'll find the library. Great for if you just need a quiet place to chill out or you just want to find a book and have a read. We've also got C11, which is a computer room with over 50 computers. And you may well have some lessons in there if you need the internet or you need to do some research. And finally, on this floor, we've also got the staff room, where if you need to find a member of staff and you just can't find them, good chances they're probably in there. Just knock on the door and wait for someone to find them. Why don't you go have a look around? <laughs>
Kerry. Uh, this is where our languages are taught. Uh, we have Mandarin and we have Spanish. Um, every floor in this building has an ICT suite. Uh, feel free to go and have a look around. Welcome to the Justin Welby building everyone. Uh, to my left here we've got the sick form area, so we've done your five years here. Um, we look forward to keep having you back here at sick form for another two years before you head off to university. I'm going to take this inside now and we're going to head up to meet Mr. Peathers on the first floor. creative in these lessons as well as experience in all the clubs they run as well. We do two drama productions per year. You can join a, a multiple different bands and choirs. For example our Pitch Perfect Choir got to national finals this year which is an amazing achievement. There's also art and drama clubs as well. And a question we often get asked is do you have to pay for clubs? And that's a categorical no. You don't need to pay for clubs here at Beckett Keys. Uh, they're all free of charge. Just come and join in when you want. The only club you can pay for is when if you want to take up private music lessons which we also offer um, during the school day which is another excellent opportunity. One more room uh, to take note of here is R10. R10 is our support room. So if you need someone to talk to, uh, a member of staff to have a listening ear or concerned about something, that's the place to go. So we're going to go inside and have a look. You, you, you. to see yeah we got the key from in your word hey i got a heart to serve and help build your church in jesus name and when we all come together your love is making us better the world will see the truth of who you are no digging not be growing up in your house when we Making us better. The 
Okay, so this is R10. R10 is where students come if they've got problems, they've got concerns, or if they're just generally finding it a little bit difficult at the moment. You'll always be met by someone with a smiley face, an open ear, and undivided attention. Here's somewhere where we also set up your support if you need a little bit extra in the classroom, and there's never somewhere to be afraid of coming. So, if you ever do get asked to come here, don't worry about it. approaching the end of our tour um, and we always like to finish by showing you the newest building and that is the sports hall. So let's go. My name is Miss Schaefer and I'm the girls PE teacher here at Beckett Keys. As you can see we've got a wonderful new sports hall that we've opened in 2018. We have a number of sports clubs and extracurricular that everyone can attend. So please make yourself known to us if you are highly interested in sports. We have a number of highly successful clubs including our basketball team and our gymnastics squad and we're looking to grow these even further. Please take a look around and enjoy. An extension of our sports hall is the Astro, which we use in a number of theme lessons. You can also use it at lunch to let off a bit of steam before your next lesson. And that's it. We've concluded our tour today at Beckett Keys, and we hope you're starting to feel more familiar with our surroundings. I can't wait to welcome you all here soon, but until then, if you have any questions, put them on an email and send them to any questions at Becky Keys to Hall. Bye!